what's up y'all welcome back josh here with josh alone landscape so uh it is friday afternoon it's hot it's humid that time of year here in south carolina so uh i got two just two properties uh, scheduled for this afternoon and then uh, a few other little uh errand type things to take care of but uh I am uh, going to be uh, getting the, picking up the tripod, finally. Hey, I'll be getting it back, so maybe I can get some, some mowing footage, and uh, we'll see, and I'm going to hop out, try to get these knocked out, and maybe put a little, a little bit of video together, so um, if y'all haven't had the opportunity yet, hit that subscribe button down at the bottom. And uh, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers and everybody who's taking the time to watch and comment and like the videos. So appreciate all the support for that. And uh, I'll hop out and get to it. Y'all stick around. All right. Well, it's kind of thick again. Not even two weeks. But you can tell. It's kind of hard to. But. It's kind of thick. We're going to mow it again. Y'all seen this one one time before in my last uh, overgrown video, but it was fairly thicker. A good bit thicker than this. Uh, but hey, for a week and a half, non-irrigated, hopefully y'all can tell um, How crazy this grows back here so this is what you get with bahia grass and a little bit of rain
there you have it triple cut uh, that spot over there you can kind of see where that white patch is that's um where the sink drain actually comes out uh probably talk to them about seeing if they maybe want to have me add a uh, drain pipe you can see it's kind of messy right there but got it cut down quick track handling business you see not the prettiest yard but it's actually been filling in since last year a little bit up there by the driveway and uh so that's one um uh, that's a fairly thick you see it kind of had to triple cut it to get the uh clipping to disperse reasonably well uh next one's actually right next door through the woods here and uh may try to get some footage in the backyard of that one it's a little bit a little bit bigger area where the grass grows somewhat similar so uh may get some time lapse over there actually or real time i don't know but uh we'll see um well, like i say that's one y'all stick around
All right, real quick, just got to notice the camera phone's getting a little hot, so uh, got you some real time and some time lapse on this one. So hopefully you enjoyed it uh, and kind of see what it's going to be looking like. Good thick grass, uh, quick track handling it, and we'll get the rest of this one wrapped up and then uh, probably do a close out on the video. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Stick around. All right, real quick, finished product. Back here in the back, all the way over to the wood line around the corner. Got everything trimmed and knocked down around the house. Trimmed around this stuff up here. And just trimming just on the other side of this ridge and I'm wrapping it up. Be back. Woo! Well, there you go. Got two of them knocked out. Um, got some real-time footage from that little small backyard that was uh, in my last uh, overgrown yard video. Uh, as you can tell, it's still pretty thick after about 10 or 11 days, somewhere in there, and yeah, about, about 10 or 11 days. Um, that's non-irrigated, uh, which I guess it does get a little bit of water in that one area from that drain line. But um, And then the second one is, is the next door. That's actually a, a the first house is the daughter's house and the mother moved in next door um, so it's a mother and daughter uh, residences there um, the second one there is pretty good sized backyard in it um, and then the, the yards just kind of choppy um, it's in the sand land uh, like I said the backyard and a little bit on the, the far end of the house from that last video shot is probably 75 70 or 75 percent of the grass is in that backyard area um, but uh quick track did a good job did some a uh, little bit of washing wax there well that's basically what i did in the backyard just double cut um, kind of knock it down and push the, the heavy stuff um, to one side and then I come back and just kind of disperse any leftover clippings and any stra clean up any stragglers on the way back. So, uh, and to be able to basically make that happen, <coughs> oh, excuse me, Woo. Uh, on a double cut, it's not not too bad. I don't uh, I don't know of a lawnmower out there. Um, I know there's a people. I've seen people with X marks. I know Ray. Uh, shout out to Ray. Um, he's got an X mark. He's got a skag. Um, I know Mr. Gerald's got the uh, Hustlers. Shout out to Mr. Gerald. Um, let's see who else. Anyway, can't think of anybody else. It's too late in the day to think too hard. <laughs> um, but when the Bahia kicks in, mark it down. You're double cutting it. Um, it may not be much to the second pass, but you're going to have a straggle. Um, so, uh, y'all think I'm wrong, y'all prove me wrong. But when that bahia grass is growing and it's thick like it is now after some rain, um, you're cutting it twice uh, in order to clean it up. So I got so got those two done. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully the footage on the second one turns out. Um, I was getting a notice that my phone was getting hot and the video quality might be affected. Um, so hopefully the time lapse and all turns out on that second one y'all and that y'all enjoy it um i caught myself and uh i don't know if it, if it shows up if it came up in the video because i've noticed with this phone when i got my music playing and i video it actually allows my music to keep playing while i'm mowing um and still video but the video i believe is 
the sound of what's going on around. So um, I caught myself on that first yard, uh, I think singing along a little bit with a song. So um, if, that show, if that comes up in the video, y'all take it easy on the criticism, all right? Um, I'm just playing around. But, uh, yep, I'm on my way. Got those two done. It's actually, if you can tell, over that way. Um, getting a little cloudy. The wind's picked up and the temperature's dropping, so I know there's some rain coming this, coming this way. I am headed up to... Uh, I had something ordered for the quick track. Uh, it's going to take a few more days to come in. And so I called a local dealer to see if maybe they had it or something similar that I wanted to put on the quick track. And uh, the guy said they had it. So I'm going up here, he's going to uh, actually uh, set it out. He told me where he set it out at because they were going to be closed just before I got there. And uh, I told him, uh, he said it was fine. I'm just going to drop back in there Monday when they open back up. Uh, I'll go in there after work and uh, pay them. So uh, the local dealers can come in handy when when you got a good rapport with them. Uh, so I'm going to pick this up and uh, I'll probably, I'll put it in here what it is after I stop picking up and uh, then head back. And I may go ahead and install it because I need to switch the... Uh, Switch out that fuel filter and see how um, if that affects the way that the machine runs a little bit. Like I said, I think I think it just needs some tweaking. But uh, as you can tell, it's it's doing really good overall. Um, it just has a few moments that I think can be ironed out. Just trying to figure out how to do it a little bit at a time. And again, the filter only was only like a ten dollar buy, so. If if it runs the same, hey, I'm out ten bucks, no big deal. Um, but if it improves the way it runs, then hey, it's a good ten dollar investment. But uh, let me hop off of here. Uh, I'm not far from the local dealer place, and uh, once I get it picked up, I might just wait till I get back to the shop. Um, show y'all or I may just show y'all in the truck before I pull off from the dealer's place. So I'll uh, catch back with y'all in a minute. Local dealer man, look at here. We got some Skaggs. Liberty Z. Tony, here's your Patriot. 61. Got a 48 V-Ride 2. It is the 22 horse Kawasaki. Uh, 52 inch Tiger Cat 2 a 61 inch Cheetah which I believe has the 38 and a half yep EFI Kawasaki on it uh, the Tiger Cat has ooh it has a uh, 28 Vanguard got a another 52 Tiger Cat 2 and a 61 Tiger Cat 2 the 61 is operating the 26 Cali this is what I'm interested in 54 inch bad boy revolt with that's right FX 850 Kawasaki. I think that's a 28 horse. Got the Reaper tires on the back. Here's the Rogue. This thing rides like a Cadillac. This is a new version, but it's got the good suspension and all on it. I got two Rebels. A Maverick HD. There's another Rogue down there. This Rogue has a Yamaha, look at there. Not sure the horsepower on that. That is a 852cc. It's probably like a 27, 
I'm saying that's probably a 27 horse. Somewhere near 26, 28 horse Yamaha. Um, there's a Rebel Maverick HD, 42 inch. And then here we have the Rogue with the 72. But check this out. Bad boy, walk behind. 48 inch. 18 and a half horse Kawasaki. Good size tires on it. Uh, kind of interesting. Y'all let me know if y'all have messed with one of these or what y'all think about it. So, And they got plenty more in the back. So hey. Y'all need to buy some mowers? Come see these guys here at uh, B&L Rental and Inflatables. They do bouncy houses and stuff too, so. Uh, quick glimpse, they got some more skags and stuff that they just got in over there, so. But, this is what I had to stop by and pick up. I actually located some of the Oregon Gator style blades for the quick track, so. There's your part number. And then the size 18 inch, 5.8 center hole. And I'm gonna see how these work because they have this small lift ear out here, so maybe that'll help. Uh, picking the grass up a little bit versus having the, the tooth come all the way out here to the end. So that's what I had to pick up. Uh, I was gonna let y'all see the mower selection. We got a good selection here. Um, so, now let me know what y'all think about that Revolt with the 850 Cowie. Um, love to give that thing a run. And, uh, yeah, I got plenty of them here. So, uh, I know um, Chris, Christopher Tier, shout out to Chris. Um, I know he's bought a Revolt from here. So, um, Chris, let me know what you think about yours. And uh, I'll probably tag him in the video down here too. And uh, yeah, or if anybody else has tried one, y'all let me know y'all's thoughts on it. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. I'm um, gonna head back. Thank y'all for uh, taking the time to waste a little time and watch my video. And hopefully y'all got some enjoyment out of it. Thank y'all once again for tuning in. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button down at the bottom and uh, head on to the house. Thank y'all once again. Um, y'all be safe, be kind, be blessed. And hey, catch you on the next one. Thanks everybody.